so on your curriculum site, you've got all your quick links into the relevant document sharing areas, but you've also got some news and the news can be a nice way to engage staff and students. So there's a couple of different ways you can add news items. You can add a news post, so a completely original news post that you write yourself, or you can share a news link from another resource, another site. So I'll start off by just showing you how to share a, a news link. So first you find your news story on the internet. Not all news articles work great. This is a news article from The Independent. And I'm going to paste that into there. And you'll see it generates a preview image, a title and a description from that. Um, you'll probably find with some news articles it doesn't work perfectly. You might have to edit some of this manually yourself. I click post and that will automatically create that news article for me, put it on here and when people click on it, it will open up that news article. So I can also create a brand new original post, and write it myself. And to do that, I go to add and news post. This gives me the option to choose from three different templates. I've got just a blank option, a visual one and a basic text. I'm going to choose visual to start off with. Create the page, and it'll create me a template news article. So I can give it a title, exam dates released. And you can see I've got this nice calming image here. I'm just going to make it a bit more relevant. So I can click on this background image here to change that. I'll do a web search and look for exams. Choose this image here. And it's a bit like a Facebook cover picture. I can just change the focal points of that image. And as I scroll down, there's all these different sections with some sample text and I can just type in text myself. I can use these formatting tools to format the text. I can add some images and captions. Um, and if there's any sections of this I don't want, I can just choose the delete section button on the left hand side and get rid of those sections. So I'll just uh, make this a bit shorter, this news article. You've got loads of sample areas here to populate. Make mine really short. Um, and there's also the option to add in additional web parts. There's huge amounts of content you can put on here from Twitter feeds to embedding YouTube videos and weather widgets. So you can create your own rich content for those news articles. And when you're ready for those to go live, you just click post news and that will post it on the site. If a student or member of staff has the app installed on their phone or tablet, they will get an instant notification when you post those, post those news articles um, if they have access to that site. So all English staff and students on their phone, they'll get a news article pop up for exam dates released. They'll be able to click on that and see it straight from their mobile device. So really nice way to engage staff and students uh, by using rich news articles.